Let's start in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. Familiar verses. God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. When we pray, hallowed be your name, we are reminding ourselves that God is not going to do things the way I expect them to be done. His holiness is his difference. He is, his ways are higher, his thoughts are higher. So when I say, hallowed be your name, the Holy Spirit is saying, that means you're not going to get your way. And we have to decide if we're okay with that. Now, a lot of us just run to the next part of the prayer, but the reality is that there is a settling that has to happen in our hearts if we are going to actually join the conversation. We've all sat around a table with someone who didn't join the conversation. They dominated. Right? We've all sat around a table where we were talking about something, but someone had a point they wanted to make, and no matter what the conversation was, they went back to their point over and over and over again. Sometimes I start to realize that I'm sitting at a table with the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, and they're talking about salvation, and I'm talking about jobs and healing and meals and stuff I want him to do. And every time they start talking again about salvation, I'm over here saying, but, but we still need this stuff, remember? Save souls, but our bills are going to get paid, right? We try to dominate the conversation when we're talking to the Holy One of all the he wants to hear our hearts, but he wants us to remember him. So when we pray, hallowed be your name, we're reminding ourselves that what God does probably won't fit what I thought he would do. See, that's why I sometimes get concerned about the idea of praying our, or praying with expectation. People say, when you come, come with expectation. When you worship, worship with expectation. When you pray, pray with expectation. But the problem is God's ways are higher my expectations. So I think it may be better said when we pray, pray in submission. When you come, come in surrender. When you worship, worship in humility. Yeah. See, God told Abraham, go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land I will show you. Gave him no details, no roadmap, no specifics. Basically, New Testament language, he said, follow me. Abraham got up and went. When Samuel went and anointed David as the next king of Israel, when it was done, after the oil was running down his, his head to his body, David went back and started shepherding his father's sheep. Samuel went back and, and continued as the prophet of Israel and continued advising and praying for King Saul, a, a, a king he knew would not continue. And yet he continued doing the thing that was in front of him. It's almost as if God said, David, you're going to be king, I'll let you know when. Got some of those things in your heart that you feel like God has spoken, that you feel like God has planted, and yet we keep trying to say, when does this happen, and how do I figure this out, and how do I work it? And it's almost like God said, I told you what I was going to do, I'll tell you when. Yeah. 